Hello and welcome back to another round of Forgotten Up 2 with Slayer. Hello. On uh, Hudson Forest. Let's go in squad 2. Too late, I'm squad 1. Yeah, you can still switch. It's stored your squad. Thought it was banned. Okay, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was banned on one server and not on the others. That's the explanation. At least he's smart and attacks the weak point here. Ah, too bad I'm uh, lagging behind a bit now. I already saw Germans in the middle going down. Funny. Um, okay. <laughs> first job, first kill. The German newspaper uh, Welt. They often on their their online newspaper they run articles about you know military history as well, like World War Two stuff. Okay. And I mean they're not bad, but they're like really. They're not in depth, you know. And often kind of, what's the best word? Kind of surface level and stuff. Or, uh, you know, that's probably the best word to describe them, you know, surface level. Sometimes there's good stuff in there, but nothing that, you know, you and me don't already know, you know. Anyway, I re recently uh, read one of those. Well, I didn't actually read the whole thing, just uh, the, the title, and I was like, huh? And it was something like, um... <laughs> MG and me killed each other. Yeah, there was something and like... It, it was something like, Vietnam and Germany, jungle fighting in the Hurtgen Forest. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, uh, that's, uh, I guess that's kind of, a, there's kind of a little parallel there, but it's not really, like, what, you know? <laughs> it's a really little parallel. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of trees in the Hurtgen oh, Forest, I grant you that. I got sprint bug. Oh, because I spawned in the, uh, behind the, the thingies, the barbed wire. Yeah, but that was a uh, very it stupid battle. Uh, kept the APC. Ow, Jesus Christ, I got shot right behind you. I'm trying to suppress the guy in the APC, so... I got, I got him, nice. What? The APC was ours? No, there's a second one. Oh, okay. Anal obliterator, are you Capro? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this community is going down the drain, to be honest. What the fuck? Why are you coming from the German side? Oh, I see it now, they're flanking, I'm an idiot. Where's the... fuck. Okay, oh, good. good. Uh, it's, uh, we kept the flag, that's good. I thought I saw a nade, but it was a smoke, never mind. Yeah, I played a round on Brest, in which uh, my squad Copy thought that. I was uh, throwing a smoke, but it was a nade. <laughs> nice. I mean, not nice. I was yeah, my brain was on, on uh, autopilot there. Let's go, let's go. It was the most massive team kill since the satchel on the tiger on Villars. That was a stupid team kill, yes. Yeah, but it was also just unlucky with that tiger, because it died right when I was in the animation, and you can't cancel it anymore. Oh, that one? Yeah, no, I remember. I thought you meant the, the time that guy blew up a tiger, like, stupidly. Our own one. Uh, no. No, I, I put the satchel on the tiger one and just ago. before it got killed. Yeah. And then, but it, uh, it got turned into a meme. Because, uh, I typed oops, and, uh, and then I had like 12 team kills with that. And then, uh, it what got turned into a meme, uh, with the text, when sorry just doesn't cut it anymore. And, a well, team where on Discord? No, uh, it was uh, on the forums. So, yeah, ancient. <laughs> really? I don't remember that. Okay. Oh, it's possible we only... Of course. 
Yeah, I was kind of cock blocked right now because I was like, yeah, let's go to Katzenhardt, and then I looked at the map, and I think we're the only team who broke through, right? Yeah. But I'm just gonna infiltrate the bunker. Whoa, you saved my ass there. I did? Uh, Un unlikely, I because I shot somebody 10 miles away. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was you. Ow! Probably not. No, it wasn't me. Oh, the anal obliterator killed me. That must have hurt. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I, again, I spawned in the behind the barbed wire. Oh, I hate it when that happens. I really, kind of, probably, if I were to make something like that, I probably would just... Even though it's kind of tacky, but I would like uh, invisible put the yeah, invisible walls there as well. Even though it's it's lame, but at the same time, probably I should also ah. fill the whole um, you know those um, those forests on Oglidov. Should pro I should probably also fill these with with those invisible blockers. I'm just too lazy. It's <laughs> such annoying and boring work. Yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> but people still find <laughs> ways. Turn out a low quality stuff instead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people still find ways to glitch into there, either on purpose or by spawning in there by mistake, you know, and uh, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, well, if they spawn on there by mistake, it's, it, it is still a glitch, but then it's not. Uh, well, you can't help that. Well, I could. If I put uh, the markers in there, I guess, you know, so. Whoops, sorry. You know, this map really looks better with the uh, automatically generated light maps from the server. I was not a fan of that initially. That being said, they actually did that um, on 2.0 sometimes. Not uh, with the same method, but similarly. <laughs> for example, on... Um, <gasps> shit! For example, on... Um, what's it called? Operation Hyacinth and I think also on my red line from the looks of it. Uh, did every did did we kill that Hauptman mates dude? Who? Hauptman mates? No, I'm, I mean who killed him? Uh, I hope we killed him because he killed me. Then probably not. Revenge for myself. Okay, right behind you. It's I'm in the bunker. Glitchy, uh, I'm in the bunker. Uh, and it's empty. Okay, good. Very and good. it's going down. Yeah, I see. What's glitching? Uh, yeah, Shit, uh, crossroad. The, the, the server. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, uh, crossroad's blinking, but squad one is moving in. Yeah, who's squad one again? I don't know. I think the Russians. Ah, oh, they're decent. They might be able to hold them off. You know, Kututsov and so on. I want to make a map oh, about Operation yeah. Kututsov and Operation Suvorov just to mess with the head. Rifleman Bronze! Yeah. Finally, I deserved that for ages. Do you think that it actually will mess with their heads? <laughs> I think they will be proud. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant with mess with their heads, I guess. Okay, I, I spawned it. In time to uh, to eat part of the panzer fast. Yeah, I saw that. I think I talked about that with you uh, recently. I, I read the book by Anthony Beaver about the Adenso fences. Oh yeah, I still have to buy that one because I want to make some history videos on the uh, on the bulge. Mm. It's pretty and good. I so I. So I bought and started now the Berlin one by him because you know I know that after my break I can do a lot of stuff that I usually can't do like reading books finally, and I have to say that's one of the most depressing books I've ever read about a war. And that's saying something. Uh, did you read the Stalingrad one? No. Okay. Yeah, I plan on doing the bulk 
Belch one first. I'm uh, reading the D-Day one at the moment, and mm -hmm. then the Belch one, and then the... I mean, in, in terms of FH2, like in terms of my mapping hobby, they're not as useful as, say, you know, the Osprey books. But uh, it's nice that they're kind of written in a different style, where it's not so much technical details and stuff, and more broad yeah. strokes, and uh, also like yeah, little and anecdotes. Also, uh, and yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, that's a good thing. No stories. Oh, we're getting cuts on And it also, compared to something like Glanz, for example, have you ever read Glanz? He no. writes like Eastern Front books, that sh shit's dry, like it's just lists of uh, like uh, Russian orders, verbatim, you know, and. Uh, oh. <laughs> It's, it's uh, <laughs> useful, you know, for example, fuck, I yeah, could, have, yeah, for, uh, if, uh, could never have made you know, Operation Mars without that because you just don't have something like the Anthony Beaver book for that stuff. But um, it's dry as hell, you know. But, you know, it's like scholarly stuff. It's not bad. It has its purpose, is my point. But, yeah, compared to that, it's, it's really fun and interesting to read. Oh, yeah, okay. those, those glance books. Great books, but it's all like... And then the 7th Rifle Corps advanced to to the line Andreovka and Peshinovka. And then it was thrown back by our counterattack by the 131st Infantry Division. And then they yeah. advanced to the line blah blah blah. And it's all that like without any kind of, uh, you know, anecdotes or personal connection to anyone. Except, yeah. except sometimes the higher up. Uh, that, mm, I mean, you know, it's not yeah, as easy to read must be boring. Not necessarily because I'm interested in that stuff, but it's certainly not an easy read, yeah. um, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. And I've read some uh, promotional pieces. Uh, for example, about uh, one was about uh, Asian workers in the Dutch East India Company. Mm. And uh, yeah, it was also pretty interesting, and I still use it to this day to uh, to emphasize on the global character of that company but it's it was really dry and no. the same was for uh, um, the the book about uh, the war crimes in Dutch East Indies in uh, 1945 1949 oh fuck oh yeah, yeah carry on I, I'm listening even if I'm talking something uh, about something else and if I'm not listening I will rewatch the video and and um, yeah, that was of personal interest to me because my dad was in that war. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, I'm in in Germany there. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what was I that? I just read across the the, the stupidest tree cap of all time. No, I'm not. In, uh, it's open. I'm yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> It was so easy to pre cap it didn't even have to spawn. So, um, yeah, that and that was uh, that was a bit anecdotal at times. So it was not super super boring, but it was uh, it was actually also a list of um, uh, violence, torture, uh, of terrorism. Uh, yeah. So it was. Uh, that was also uh, hard to read, and it was also hard to read because uh, it was uh, it was so very long. It was uh, like uh, two thousand pages or something. Two thousand pages, yeah, that's long. That's a long book to read about rape and torture and yeah. terrorism. Yeah, and you really had to uh, put it down uh, sometimes to catch some breath. We're actually capping uh, Gameter. It's going down. Shit, so I knew that. Eh. But no, we it was, it's uh, going I down. Wanna, uh, yeah, it's almost down. Uh, Spotty does that problem, but. But yeah. But yeah, good book by Anthony Beaver. Up. I might get the rest of them as well. And I did get the neutralized point, so. Yeah. My, uh, oh, well. my not so special but uh, apparently super brave walked through the fields, made this grey, but we're losing it again. Fuck. So I was about to say I will, um, uh, I will write in the description of the video, Slayer wins around by himself. <laughs> no, we're losing it. They're gonna recap. Ah, uh, uh, fuck. 
And I get killed inside the stupid forest. Come on, Scott, what's up? Okay, now I already waited for the M10. Ah, I'm dead. Oh, let's get out of here. I can already smell the stuck. Yeah. But yeah, what's interesting, um, whenever you do like, whenever I do like World War One and World War Two in um, uh, in school, mm -hmm. there are always those, those students. Did we capture the Hanumak with the Stuttgart zu Fuß? Apparently we don't think so because the rockets were landing right next to us. Yeah, but he got killed for this. Like blue kills. I'm so confused. Uh, anyway, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, uh, right. How's feeling day? That's the normal one, right? Oh, then maybe I got mi mixed. Yeah, mixed up. Think, uh... Nice. Oh. Nice. That was so, just too. Whenever I do that topic, there are always those students, usually boys, who who want more military stuff, right? And usually I do that mostly in World War One because you have the, the French systems and stuff, and that kind of you can connect that with that which you or, or actually want to teach, you know, the, like the entire yeah. war message and so on. World War Two, I do that more than most teachers, I would say, but not as much and they're always complaining, you know. And I always have mm -hmm. half a mind because, you know, you do that in 10th grade and they are a bit older. I always have like half a mind just to say, okay, you want to do military history? We can do military history and then give them like one of these really boring and dry texts where it's just yeah. like, and then they lost that many people in that village and then they lost, that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Where it's completely unexciting. I always wanted to try out how they would react to that or if they would even like it for some reason, you know. Sometimes students surprise you, you know. What was uh, interesting um, on YouTube, there's this video which is in color, but it was originally shot for a Wochenschau, you know, for a newsreel. Which was the last video taken at the Oderfront in uh, 1945. You yeah. know, right in front of Berlin. And it shows German soldiers, including like basically child soldiers, you know. And um, in color and it looks very vivid, you know, and re real, you know, how it is when, uh, in comparison to, um, what's it called, in comparison to to black and white, it always looks more real when it's in color. Mm -hmm. And I showed them that and um, well, they were quite impressed and so on, but then somebody said, I, don't, I think that was a fake. I'm like, how is that a fake? And he's like, no, nah, that's a fake. It's clear that that's a fake. And I'm like, why? And he's like, well, did you see the guy on the tank? He had a headset on, <laughs> and he didn't think that they had headsets back then. He, think, he thought there was a modern guy listening to music on a tank for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that in modern warfare, a lot of tankers and other personnel are actually u uh, uh, using those headsets to listen to music. Yeah, today that's true. But yeah, he, he couldn't believe that they had. It looked modern to him, you know, like. And he thought, nah, that must be some kind of stupid fake. <laughs> Come on, Storm, move in. Yeah. Let's be part of the contest. Nice. Okay, yeah. To be honest, I completely kicked ass while telling that anecdote. I should talk more while shooting people. Yeah, I should help uh, some uh, approaching Germans from the base. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? When you shoot them from the from the little uh, garage, you know, with the with the second story, oh, that's no, like the slightly the damage. Oh, they reached me. What the it. fuck? <laughs> Move closer, store. They recap it. Come on. How often do you want to recap this? <laughs> do you want to do you want to fight against the Russians? That's how you fight against the Russians. Surrender to us. <laughs> this is the Western Front, Germans, come on. <laughs> yeah, what's funny... Shit. What's, um, well, not really funny, but what was quite impressive in that book? You know, the Berlin book, no? There was one anecdote. Um, 
about um, a German talking in a tram. And apparently people were like complaining, ah shit, you know, the war is lost, why do we fight on? And then the the witness said there was a, a German soldier there, like a veteran, and he had all these uh, medals on his, uh, his breast. And he's like, yeah. you know, stop that talk, we have to win. Because uh, if, if the winners do to us what we did in the occupied territories, there won't be any Germans left. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, okay. Oh, that was a bad team kill, Oh, ouch! Ah, I hate it that he's uh, so far away from the flank. I want to be part of the action. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and now he's dead. What the fuck? How? What? How did I survive that? I... 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 What? <laughs> I spawned on the vehicle, pressed E immediately, and it blew up under me, but I lived, and I'm not even damaged, I think. Wow. I just stood on there for a second and was like, what? Well, the, the good thing Fuck. about uh, the, this whole attacking uh, Garmenter thing is that um, all those buildings and the, the route w to the ADA, they are pretty clear. Because they didn't have time to occupy that. Hmm. But the Stuk is coming now, that's not good. Yeah, not good at all. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, some somebody's uh, camping oh, for in the back. For a second, I was like, yes, and then uh. No, yeah. I uh, I had the spawn screen in front of me, so... Damn it, they really beat us back a bit. Everybody on official FH2 tier? Well, we are. Yeah, yeah I don't know uh, what he... Mean. I don't really know what he means by that. Well, we are on the official FH2 TS in the, in the tester channel, right? Thor, I spotted the Stug. Watch the Stug. Oh, that's now up. Oh, wait, I forgot that the uh, VRP is not oh, working. Oh, he has the Winchester. Interesting. That's also on this map, apparently. Maybe not such a rare weapon after all. You know, usually I know where these kits are, but not all of them. Oh, uh, there's actually two Stugs. Yeah. Interesting, we ho we have lots of people in the town, but the Germans apparently have more. Yeah, apparently they do. I don't know why, where I was being shot at from, that must have been one of ours, right? Oh, he was in one of the trenches or something, fuck. Otherwise I could have easily killed that other guy, but... Okay. Was I being shot at from here? What the fuck? Oh, we graded. Well, not so much we as the others, but... Yeah. Our team. Yeah. Fuck. And we kept it again. No, we kept no. fucking my mill. Don't do that with us, you're messing with our head, man. And it's not even that useful. Ah. You got the, the MG? Nice. Where was that guy? Was he in a trench in front of it? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I didn't see that coming to be honest. I'm in the zone. He's gone. Oh, we're capping it again. We? Yeah. Negative. 
fuck, yes. Okay, next try. Fuck you, Germans. Eat my nades and my dick. Okay, that was bad shooting. Oh, of course, Shrat Commandos lying around the corner like a bitch. Uh, okay, but we are in ticket advantage now, so... Yeah, even if they gray are, it. <laughs> things are looking up now. That uh, was pretty hard though in the end. The beginning was easy, and then it seemed to be easy, but then they came back hard. But yeah, that's Gamita in American hands. Bring the Coca-Cola machine, boys, it's ours. And put the pin up on the wall. No, I'm pretty sure the guns already have that. Every soldier yeah. has something like that. Only uh, swimsuit pictures. Of him and Göring. Yes! And there we go. No, it was not. Yeah. It's been a while since I won this as the Americans. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and have a nice day. See you!